then picks up bow and arrow, aimed at the fleeing boy and girl. An arrow pierced the girl's neck. Surprisingly, not only did the girl not die, instead, she easily pulled the arrow out of her neck. The man saw this and drew his bow again. Shoot an arrow. Surprisingly enough, the arrow had pierced her body, yet she felt nothing. Shocked, the man ordered his men to release the arrow together. In the blink of an eye, the girl's back was full of arrows. She felt no pain at all. Just then, the man behind him suddenly turned their spears on the boy. An arrow hit the boy. The girl drew the arrow. The arrow was on her back. When she saw the boy thrashing in pain, the girl decided to help him for once. She used her magic to heal the boy's wound. The boy's wound healed immediately. There was no trace of his wound at all. The pursuers were approaching. The girl jumps on the boy's back again. She lets the boy carry her. But there is no road ahead. The girl points to the wall ahead. She tells the boy to run forward. Although there is a dead end ahead. But in the face of the girl's insistence, the boy still crashed through. 